Okay, I'm having some fun with uh, this flux field generator that I built and uh, Maggie and uh, the boys. Uh, this is uh, Dewey and Huey and Louie and Fringe. These are little projects uh, that I've posted lots of videos on before. These are Jewel Thieves and this is Dr. Stifler's SEC project and they're all uh, lights and these are turned off because it's light out and uh, Dewey works just like a, a flashlight. Anyway, uh, one of the commenters on my last video wanted to know if uh, they had been introduced to Maggie. And so as a little whimsical thing, I started doing some uh, some things here. And what I want to show is the ability of this flux field that's generating here to go through things. And I was surprised at what it'll go through. And so I, I came up with kind of a little... Uh, uh, scenario. It's, it's suppose these boys here were interested in the new lady in town and they wanted to know some things about her. <laughs> so I said, well, you know, she's a pretty easy turn on. You, you can turn her on pretty easy and get her going. And then, of course, uh, all the guys want to know uh, a couple of things. Uh, does she like the movies? And there's their favorite movie, Silent Running. And of course, let's see, she seems to like the movie. And that's a good thing. And then, of course, does she like nature? Well, let's see if she likes nature. She seems to like nature okay. That's fine with her. And uh, then, of course, the, there's going to be the question, well, does she drink? Well, let's see if she likes fluids. And uh, seems that she's okay with that. Of course, that's just water, so you guys are on your own with that one there. And uh, let's see, uh, is she educated? Does she like literature? Uh, there's the dictionary. She seems to like that. And, uh, of course, is she strong? You know, she's a strong, strong one. So, let's see. I'll put a lead-acid battery between her and her flux field generator. And she seems to be pretty darn strong. And all the boys like that. It, the point of all this is this is generating a flux field between that spinning neomagnet and her spinning neomagnet. And as long as it's not ferrous, it goes right through it. And my thought on this was you could take and put this on the other side of a wall and transmit the energy right through a wall, especially a concrete block wall. Yeah, as long as there was no metal in it. Now, if there was welding or, or reinforcement rod or anything like nails or something in there, she stopped in a heartbeat. So I don't know how you'd ever construct a device like this, but this transmits right through matter. As long as it's not ferrous, that's lead, that's plastic, that's earth, and ceramic, and then uh, vegetable matter. And uh, anyway, this is what I, I thought was quite interesting when I did this experiment was... Um, the fact that that energy, that flux energy, will transverse through material as long as it's not ferrous. Now, this was something else that, unfortunately for my little friends here, she doesn't like anything ferrous. And you take a battery, which is really not all that magnetic, and she shuts right down. Too bad, Dewey. Look, but don't touch. Anyway, that's something that... Uh, I just wanted to show is that uh, very interesting little experiment with this flux, magnetic flux energy being transmitted through the air with that spinning neomagnet.